Welcome to Analytical Geometry. This video is for grade 11 and grade 12. Let's go to the information. We are given a trapezium with vertices A, B, C, D. And uh, we also have E as a point on A, B. We are also told that A, B is parallel to D, C. And uh, the angle of inclination at, uh, on line AB is alpha. And of course, we've got theta at KBE. So let's go to the questions. Question number one. Calculate the midpoint of EC. So that's EC. And we want the midpoint of EC. Of course, to get the midpoint of EC, we need to get the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And of course, to get the X coordinate, we add the two X coordinates from E to C. It's minus two plus two, and we divide them by two. To get the Y coordinate, we add the two Y coordinates from E to C. And again, we divide them by 2. So if we simplify, we have 0 over 2. And we have minus 3 over 2. This is, of course, 0. This is negative 3 over 2. And that is our midpoint of EC. Let's go to question 2. In question 2, we are asked to find the gradient of DC. All right, so we want to find the gradient of DC and we know the formula also given in your formula sheet. All right, so Y2 will be negative 3 and we minus Y1, which is negative 5. X2 would be 2 and we minus X1, which is negative 2. This simplifies to 2 over 4, which is of course a half. So the gradient of DC is a half. Let's go to question 3. In question 3, we are asked to calculate or find the equation of AB. And we must write it in this form. All right. Okay. So one thing we know is the gradient of DC is a half. But DC and AB are parallel. So if the gradient of DC is a half, then the gradient of AB will also be a half. So we can substitute that half into M. That's the gradient. Now, finally, to find C, we can substitute a point along AB. And the only point we've got along AB is E. That's the point on AB. So if we substitute that point, remember that's E, X, and Y. So if we substitute the coordinates of E, Y is 0. And X is minus 2. We can find C. A half multiplied by negative 2 will be negative 1. We take the negative 1 over. We find that C is equal to 1. So now we can write the equation in full. We know that M is a half and C is 1. Excuse me. C is equal to 1. So that is the equation of line AB. Let's go to question 4. In question 4, we are asked to calculate theta. And theta is over here. Now, to calculate theta, we need to take note of this triangle at BOE. Of course, now we know that in order to find theta, theta will be uh, the 90 degrees plus the alpha. 
All right, so to find angle theta, angle theta will be 90 degrees plus alpha. And of course, the reason for this is that the exterior angle, which is uh, angle theta, is equal to the two opposite interior angles. So the exterior angle of a triangle. So the exterior angle, angle theta, must equal to 90 plus alpha. Okay, but of course we don't know the value of alpha. All we know is that alpha is the angle of inclination on line AB. So we know in order to find the angle of inclination, we take tan to the angle of inclination and we equate that to m. All right, and of course we know that the tangent, we just worked it out in the previous question, the ten, uh, or the gradient of AB is a half. So if we take we go shift we take that angle at a half we'll find that our alpha is 26 comma 57 degrees now we can calculate Q so we take 90 degrees plus 26.57 degrees and of course we can do this because angle theta is the exterior angle which is equal to the two opposite angles we've explained the reason over there so now we can just add 90 degrees to the 26. 90 degrees plus 26,57 will give us 116,57 degrees. That is our angle theta. Let's go to question 5. In question 5, we have to prove that... Uh, AB is perpendicular to BC and of course they will be perpendicular if the gradient of AB multiplied by the gradient of BC gives us negative 1. We already know that the gradient of AB is a half so now we need to work out the gradient of BC and of course we know that that point will be 0 and 1. How do we know that the y is 1? Remember, the equation of this line is actually y equals to plus 1. We worked it out when we did uh, question 3. And of course, that tells us that the uh, line of AB passes through 1. Okay, so therefore, our y value will be 1. So now, we may calculate the gradient of BC. All right, so we've got minus three, minus the one, over two, minus zero. And of course, this will be minus four over two, which simplifies to negative two. All right, so if we multiply the gradient of AB by the gradient of BC, and we get negative 1, then they are perpendicular, those lines are perpendicular. So the gradient of AB we know is a half, and the gradient of BC we know is negative 2, and of course if you multiply a half by negative 2, you get negative 1. So therefore, we could say that AB, line AB, is definitely perpendicular to line BC. Let's move on to the last question, uh, the trickier question. All right, we are told that there's a circle that goes through B, E, and C, and we have to find the equation of the circle. All right, so the, the circle goes through those points. Okay, if we imagine this circle, it would look... Uh, something more like this and of course it's not drawn to scale just to get an idea 
of this circle going through those points. Okay, it would look like that. So we're trying to find uh, this the equation of this circle going through those three points. And the first thing we need to remember, we just proved in the previous question that AB and BC are perpendicular, which means that is 90 degrees. And if that is 90 degrees, remembering your um, psych, uh, cyclical geometry, you'll know that the circle uh, bise is bisected by the diameter at 90 degrees. So therefore, this must be the diameter. So therefore, this point, the middle of EC has got to be the center of the circle. All right, so what is EC? What is the center of the circle? Now, to get the center, remember we already calculated the midpoint of EC when we did question one. Yes, remember when we did question one, we found the midpoint was zero and negative three over two. So that's the midpoint of EC. Okay, so the center, the midpoint of EC that we calculated in question one, X is zero and the Y coordinate is negative three over two. All right, so we know how do you then write the equation uh, or the formula for the circle. You take x minus the x coordinate at the center, square it, plus y minus the y coordinate at the center. And we also square that equals to the radius squared and of course this is just x squared and that will be squared now the last step in order to find the equation of this uh, circle we also need to find the radius so r squared so how do you find r squared easy you can substitute an, any of those three points through which the circle goes I think it will be easier to substitute E since it has a zero there for Y. So if we substitute E uh, into this equation, then X will be negative two squared plus of course Y at E is zero. Three over two should give us our radius square. So if you just go to your calculator, negative 2 squared plus 3 over 2 also squared will give us a radius of 25 over 4. Now to write the equation in full we can rewrite that now with the radius now that we found it so the equation will be x squared plus y plus 3 over 2 and that is equal to the radius squared uh, of 25 over 4 and that is our solution all right of course if you like this video then like it thank you